In this video, I am going to discuss the last problem in sequential logic which was asked you to fill or correct the missing logic. So before you go ahead and try to look at this particular problem, I will just help you understand what this problem is really all about. Because the most important thing in logic is first understanding that problem very correctly. If you understand the problem correctly, writing logic is never ever difficult. Most of the times we do not understand the concept clearly and that's why we have all kind of problems. So suppose I have classrooms numbered from 2002, sorry, 201, 202, 203, all the way till whatever number that university has. So what happens is a teaching assistant is a person who is used to assist a senior teacher in his or her job. So for all these classes, the teaching assistant carries how many students should be there in that particular classroom for a given class. So suppose this is computer science, there are 201, there should be 55. In English, let's say there are 60. And this, let's say there is for economics, there are 70. So he goes to the class, the teacher tells him 50 are present. Then using the formula, absent is equal to total minus present, he's able to calculate the absent. Now, he's been doing this, going to different classrooms, asking the teacher how many are present and finding the number of absent. But let's first take, to like, take a look at this code to see what are all the problems. Absent is zero is fine. Present is zero is also fine. But there should have been a variable called as total because I am going to write a code to read first the total number of students or the total number of students present should be read from the keyboard. Then I am not required to calculate the total. I am actually required to calculate the absent. Absent should be total minus present. And finally, it should not print total present. It should print how many are absent. Absent is total minus present. So there are a lot of problems in this particular logic. So first, try, let's try to do a comparison with how the correct logic should look. And then we'll go about finding what are the different challenges. So here if you see, Step number one, absent, present, he is missing total. So you have declared the variable total here. Then what I am doing is, I am assuming the total is going to be picked up or the total is already given to him from the chart. Or we can say read present comma total. That's also fine. So it's not a bad idea to say read present comma total. Because we may not know the total. So he's reading the present comma total. So this step is missing that present comma total. Then this is wrong. He should be actually calculating the absent. So absent is total minus present. And finally, the last step total absent is just the value absent and then you stop. Now, what are the other problems that this teaching assistant may make or face? For example, if he enters this data wrongly, or if he goes to the wrong class and asks how many are present, then his output is also going to be incorrect. This is what is meant. If you give wrong input to a computer, it is not smart enough to correct your wrong input. It's going to provide you the wrong output. So here what is going to happen here is, if he goes to say 201 and he gets a count of 62, present 62, then he's not in the right class. So if he's not careful, he may go to the wrong class, enter the wrong present and calculate the wrong absent. So those are some of the possible mistakes the teaching assistant may make. All right. So it's given in this description. You can take a look in the PDF file attached along with this particular video. So with this, we have completed all the problems with the solutions for the sequential logic process using algorithms. Please do not jump to these answers. If you have come to this stage, I would request you go solve them and then come and verify.